Well, it is a beautiful morning in Mackinac City. We are at Fort Michelin Mackinac at the base of the Mackinac Bridge. And the way they start the day every day here, with, with a, a bang. Cannon. With a bang. <laughs> hey yo. And uh, Todd, you get to do the honors today. I do at Fort Michelin back and all. They, they don't mind firing off a cannon or two to wake you up early in the morning. You want to give me a countdown? This is a new experience that, that visitors are actually able to do. And Todd's going to start it off. So I will give you a countdown. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. So we've made it inside the fort and we are with the curator of archaeology, Dr. Lynn Evans. You guys are celebrating your 65th year. This is an active site. You are constantly digging here. Tell us about the significance of something like this. So this is, we believe, one of the longest projects in North America that's been continually going for that long. And so what makes it really great is that you can see everything we've done, all the buildings you see, we've done this first. And we have this amazing collection that people all over the country can use for comparative purposes. And, and the coolest thing, you're constantly finding things. Yes, you guys have made a discovery. This is a very rich site. When yeah. they left here, they moved everything to Mackinac Island and really nothing happened on this plot of land for a hundred years. It was set aside as a park and so that's protected it. And we find little things every day, things like fish bones and beads and lead shot. And then sometimes we do find bigger things. And so last week we were just getting things, the final touches on getting it ready to dig and we found a bone or ivory gaming die. What do the visitors get out of this? I mean, this is so cool to see. So for most people, this is the first time they've had a chance to see our archaeology in person. Most of the archaeology that's done in this country is done pr prior to construction projects. So it's behind a construction fence and they can't see it. And this is a chance to see the process because we find little things every day. They can watch something you know that nobody's seen in 250 years come to light. And that's really exciting. And it gives them then the chance to, to see that and then see all the ways that we can interpret that. And so the buildings are based on the archaeology, the things that the interpreters do, they can bring it to light. Life. They can say, you know, this is this is what they found and this is how they would have used it. This is what it would look like. This is how daily life played out. And so it, it's the whole circle and the whole process. Are you guys out here every weekday? We're, we're out here seven days a week uh, from now through August 19th. Unless it's pouring rain, then we'll be inside. Perfect. But come visit us. Watch history being made right Absolutely. here. Dr. Evans, love it so much. And now we get to see history in play and how they take this and turn it into real life scenarios for all the guests here, Todd. And that living history looks a lot like Craig. Hey, Craig. Hello. And who are you representing right now? Yeah, so I'm dressed as a soldier of the 84th Regiment, the Royal Highland Immigrants. They're British soldiers who started showing up here at Michelin Mackinac in the summer of 1780. And they are a Highland unit, so they're entitled to wear bits of Highland dress. I've got my bonnet on and a purse and a kilt here. Uh, and they're just part of the community who would have been living and working here in 1780. And if you saw at the beginning of this segment, I got to fire off the morning cannon. And that is something now that visitors and guests here will be able to do as well. Yeah, that's a new program that we're rolling out this summer. Uh, visitors are welcome, just as you did, to come in and fire off our six pound cannon to begin our day here at Michelin Mackinac. Uh, we do also have a program that occurs in the evening where not only are visitors allowed to fire that six pound cannon, we have several other pieces of artillery uh, that they can fire off. It's called Guns Across the Straits. Okay, and what types of guns are we talking? Muskets? So, uh, yep, we, we fire the musket that our interpreters use for demonstration every day. We've got a mortar. Uh, we've got a wall gun, which is essentially a supersized musket about six feet long. Sometimes we'll fire a blunderbuss and that's all hands on. Visitors can fire all of that. And it's a personalized, uh, about an hour long experience. Wow. So you really get to live mm -hmm. the hands-on history. Yeah. I, I love that. What else can people do here if you're, if you're not into, you know, loud noises? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> so people visiting just on an everyday basis, we've got historic interpreters throughout the site. We've got exhibits. You can watch our ongoing archaeology. And we have programs that happen about every half hour. That's everything from a musket firing to walking tours that cover everything from the gardens and the things that we have growing here, the enslaved community that was living and working here, the civilian community. Uh, we've got a program focused 
focusing on French Canadian food, another focusing on tea, and people can actually have some tea made in the traditional British way. Uh, and we also have a tour focusing on what was happening here in 1780. So what was going on in a pretty chaotic and a pretty interesting time here. I gotta be honest, every single time we have come up here, we learn numerous new things, and now new experiences can be had at Fort Michelin Mackinac, all happening right around Mackinac City. So we've left the fort and we've made it to the old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. We've got Dominic with us to talk about this. This is a must stop. This is something that people need to see if only for that. Uh, right I mean, here. the view here is absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's it's you know it's the million dollar view coming through right here. And then you have this historic, beautiful lighthouse. It was called the Castle on the Straits, and for good reason. I mean, it's it stood guard over the Straits of Mackinac for you know more than a hundred years now. It's absolutely stunning. And for those who haven't been here yet, how much access do you get to learn more about the lighthouse and who lived here? There's, there's multiple exhibits throughout the I almost said the fort throughout the lighthouse <laughs> that um, that details the history of the families that were here. There were four keepers over its history. Um, they had their families here. It was a whole extended group here, and you can learn all about them and the various aspects of what they were doing here historically. Yeah, and, and this is like kind of cap off your trip in Mackinac City, maybe before you go to the island and you do a little more historical research, right? I Absolutely, mean, it's, this is a great way to, it's a great in and out stop. I mean, the views are second to none. You can, you'll get that little that extra taste of history, kind of more more modern history. And then you head over in the island, the uh, you know 1800s over there and kind of take that step back in time. It's a great, you know, just like, cleanser visit Mackinac City as you're finishing up your, your, your time here. I think you just called it a palate cleanser. I like that. It's in, in your meal at Mackinac City, <laughs> your palate cleanser is here at the exactly. lighthouse. But yeah. honestly, you get a full meal. You're going to be stuffed any trip to Mackinac City. Absolutely. So much to do. Yeah, so much to do. So much history. Dominic, we just appreciate all of your time and thanks for showing us around. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Man, we always have such a great time in Mackinac City, and you can too. When you want to learn more about that fort, about the lighthouse, and all the other places to see, just head to MackinawCity.com. We'll be right back.